Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I have a video that I have been requested to do a couple of times and I am finally getting around to it. And that is how I put my glue dots into my single placer of my diamond painting pen. Um, I have been using glue dots ever since I did my Luna Moth Witch diamond painting, which was back at the end of August, I believe, is when I started that piece. And now we are in December, and I'm still growing strong with them. I love them, and I think more people should use glue dots. And I think it's just such a fun method, and the pops you get are fantastic. So today I just wanted to make this hopefully short and sweet video giving you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how I personally take out my glue dots and then put new ones in. Um, I won't be doing any like canvas work today. This is just simply showing you guys how I get the glue dot in and out, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so what you will need to do this are micro glue dots. I have never tried the bigger like normal size glue dots but the micro glue dots work perfect for me and there are 325 of them and you guys these glue dots in your single placer like I probably don't even have to switch it out right now and I've had it in there the entire time I've been working on springtime splendor and I'm like over a third of the way done through the piece all that to say you got a lot like this is gonna last you like forever so micro glue dots I will leave what I purchased linked down below for you guys and then of course you'll just need your diamond painting pen this is just me showing you guys how I get the micro glue dot in the single placer I will not be doing it in the multi placer I don't do that I use putty and then you will also need a pair of tweezers this is just the pointy pointy diamond art club murder tweezers. I don't know why I'm showing you guys. Look look at the tip of these. But anyways, um, so, okay, get started. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up these glue dots. It just comes in like a roll like this. It's really hard to see anything, to be honest. But what I am gonna do, so I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the old glue dots. Oh my god, okay. Remove the old glue dots. Wow, okay, let me see if you guys can see that. I don't know, yeah, you guys can definitely see the little like glue dot on top of the, um, the tweezer, but that was the old glue dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. Awesome, oh my gosh, it was like stuck to my finger. But then here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and basically like the glue dot is not on the outside, it's on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it is really hard to show you guys. I don't know if it's gonna focus. They're clear glue dots. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick three, three of these glue dots with my tweezers off. I'm just gonna put it on the table here. So I'm gonna go ahead, yeah, you guys can see it. Go ahead and pick one, two, and then three okay awesome and then I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and just take the glue dot if you guys can see so hard to see this is like not focusing oh there we go so the glue dots in my fingers I'm gonna go ahead and roll it between my fingers so like I said I um I grabbed three of them and now I'm rolling it between my fingers this just removes any excess stickiness because you guys these glue dots as much as you guys roll these between your fingers you're still gonna get some stickiness and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put literally just put the glue dot inside the um, the tip and the reason I'm doing three is because I think three fits really well um, you could do let's see if I can get it to focus on it um, no, of course not. Why would it why would it want to focus when it doesn't have to? That's unfortunate. So I'm gonna hold it a little lower if you guys can see it a little better. Um three fits perfectly in the in the single placer, and then I'm just gonna take my tweezers and just kind of push it in because it's there's a little bit like hanging on the outside. It's a little hard to do on camera. Um I don't usually hold it like this while I do it. But um Okay, yeah, just pushing the glue dot into the placer and if you for some reason have any excess and I don't think you will with using three in a 
like three micro glue dots you can go ahead and just take some scissors and like snip it actually um no I think this is fine I think mine's perfectly fine you can take it and just like snip a little bit off the top but um otherwise that is literally it that is how I get these glue dots into my pen again very simple but I know that like when I started doing it I wanted a tutorial so I hope this video was helpful for somebody um and then the glue dots last absolute ages however just an fyi that at the very beginning like the first few sections probably that you do with the glue dots there might be some technical difficulties and the main one i ran across was um i would try to grab a diamond stick it on the canvas but it would um not stick on the canvas the glue like the diamond would just stick onto the tip of the pen um sometimes that happens It'll help to, number one, try a different spot on the canvas to stick it, um, like a little different spot in that section could do the trick. Sometimes I will take my tweezers and just like basically put them in my other hand. Let's say this is the canvas. I will just go ahead and like pop it off with the tweezers if that makes sense. That does the trick. Um, otherwise, I'll just grab a new glue dot. Not, no, not grab a new glue dot. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> not grab a new glue dot grab a new diamond like take off the drill from the pen put it back in the tray and grab a new diamond um that is probably the biggest thing i've ran across with a fresh glue fresh glue dot but otherwise like i love working with glue dots and let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this method if it works for you let me know if it's something you plan on doing again i really hope this tutorial was helpful i know i would have loved some i don't remember exactly where i even learned it might have been from my friend ash and i don't remember if it was her specifically or a youtube video or something that helped me but i hope this video helps somebody and let me know in the comments if you guys use this method but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video bye guys